Hello, Thrifty Mamas. It's Julie from the Thrifty Mama Says, and I wanted to just do um, kind of a highlights video this time since I tend to go long on my videos. But this is um, just some ideas on things you might want to look forward to pick up when you're out yard sailing for those who are looking to make some extra money um, by selling on eBay. So, and that's what I do. So, anyhow, um, I did pick up a lot of other items aside from these. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount of other items as well that were just kind of more meat and potato items or items that were for my kids or things like that. So total spent on everything, um, including some of what you don't see, because like I say, it was um, for my kids or for my house, was $32. So not too bad. Um, so let's take a look at what I got. So first thing I got was actually for my son um, for our vacation coming up. This is a DS case, and it has four DS games in it, which are, if you buy them new, they're about 20 bucks a piece. So, um, and with the case, it's a great deal. I paid $5 for this whole thing. These are four of these classic Tupperware, um, they're called Tupperware tumblers. And this one, these ones, if you do a search for them or if you're going to sell them, you want to call them uh, classic or vintage Tupperware tumblers. And these are um, the pastels. So people tend to like that more, I guess, than those um, harvest colors, I guess they call it. These I bought for a dollar from the same woman that I bought the DS thing from, she was doing some great deals. These are going to go on auction. They seem to be running anywhere between getting $35 and $45 for them. I know, can you believe it for plastic cups? But these really are very durable. Even harder to believe is if you found the little tops that go with these, if they came together, they go on at auction for almost $80. I know, it's crazy, but it's true. Um, another great find that I had this week was a bunch of these Emmett Kelly mugs. I'm sorry, I should have done that in advance, but I actually bought quite a few of them. I think I bought eight total, but the ones that are worth something are these ones that are, um, or I should say that are worth more, are these ones that are part of the um, original collection, the circus collection. The last time this set of four sold, and I paid 25 cents a piece for these, Mugs are a great pickup. The last time this set of four sold, which was earlier in the month, $59 was what they sold for. So I'll take that for a $1 investment. They're a little bit to package, but um, if you look on my blog, I have a link to a great way to package mugs. And I think I've recently talked a lot about what a great pickup those are. So that's a good thing to keep your eye out for. Um, then for $2, I grabbed this um, Snow Babies Department 56. I've, there's nothing else listed and has been listed recently um, for this particular one in the box because this has never been opened. It's the Pinocchio Snow Babies. It's actually really cute, but um, Department 56 tends to do very well, especially if it's still in the packaging and it's still like shrink wrapped in there. The last time it was listed and it, was, it wasn't even brand new, it just had the box with it. It was $35 without any of the box and um, relatively worn looking. They're selling at auction for about $19. So I think I'm going to put mine at like $39.99 and maybe add best offer in a month or so. Um, I probably won't get everything listed until, you know, everyone's back in school in like September. So uh, these, I got a ton of plushes. These I'll go for a good 20 bucks. So, and I, my standard is to pay about 25 cents to a dollar for any plush that I buy. I like to pay um, under a dollar. So we've got Goofy, or sorry, not Goofy, um, and we've got the this guy here. Um, this was a really good find. This one is Garfield. He's about twenty five, going for about twenty five bucks. I actually wish I had picked up another one of him, but the woman who was selling these wanted like two dollars for him. So I paid a dollar, but two dollars seriously for a nineteen eighty one Garfield. Um, good luck to her with that. Uh, I thought he would be better, but he's actually only twenty bucks too. Um, big bag of. Barbie clothes I got from my daughter. I, I'm, I think I'm going to give these to her in her little bag to bring on vacation um, as her like new found toy to keep her busy. I paid a buck for the entire bag, which if you were to resell these, this is a really good resale. Um, I might actually pull out the Ken clothes, Ken clothes and sell those separate because those go pretty well. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this was a really good find. Anything cars, if it's in good shape, definitely pick it up. This I paid a dollar for. It is going right now on eBay for $49. So that's for the used one. It, this one talks and, you know, it does all that stuff. 49 bucks. If you found it new in the box, $80. Seriously. Can you believe it? It's pretty um, much more than what I would pay. But uh, anyways, I bought it for a dollar. Um, word to the wise, this comes off 
and it's kind of hard to put back on. So the person who sold it to me took it off so we could put it in the box. Uh, don't take it off. It's kind of hard to get back on if you sell it. Um, it might not be the best way to ship it. You might want to just package that up more gingerly. See if they, um, think you can get these to collapse down like that and just uh, ship it like that. So that way um, the buyer isn't upset by that. Anyhow, uh, again, I never knew what this actually went with. But it's a Cartoon Network guy. I looked him up. I was actually supposed to get his little buddy, apparently, too, which they didn't have. But even on his own, he goes for about 20 bucks. Um, this is a big talking Perry. He just does a little gibberish when you touch his arm, when you squeeze his arm. And he is going for, um, I think the last time he sold was like, 20, he sold for 25 bucks, and that was like earlier in the week. So we'll see. I think I'm going to get him listed pretty soon. It seems like the Phineas and Ferb thing is kind of dying down a little bit on the Disney Channel. These books my son loves. These are I Spy books. I highly, highly recommend these. I think they're fantastic. Um, we have almost this whole series already, and my kids have looked at them so much that they're beaten to death. These ones, um, the person wanted a dollar a piece, which I think is kind of crazy for kids' books, but since they're a hardcover, I um, agreed to do 50 cents a piece. There's eight of them, so I paid $4. Um, I've never seen a lot of eight actually sold recently, but when I looked these up, the last lot that sold was of six, and it sold for 20 bucks. So I think I'm going to do, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm either going to do two lots of four or one lot of eight. I haven't decided. But anyways, very good profit on that. Um, like I say, I did pick up other items, but not quite as interesting. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show you guys is when you look at the mugs, the Emmett Kelly mugs, this one here, like this is an Emmett Kelly Jr. you can see on the bottom. Those aren't worth nearly as much as the regular Emmett Kellys. These were 25 cents a piece. So, I mean, it was definitely worth picking up, but I'm going to lot these up, these three, and um, put them with the best offer. But you, the Emmett Kelly ones that you want, like I say, are... Um, these ones here, you know, it's kind of live and learn on some of these things. And this is the circus collection. So, you know, just always make sure you check them for nicks and scratches and things like that. So, I mean, these are some of the other stuff that I picked up. So, like I say, $32 for everything, including some stuff that you didn't see here. Um, but I think it's pretty good. So, um, very nice profit after, even after fees and things like that. Oh, and I was out for maybe two hours. And that included my uh, coffee and all that good stuff. Um, anyhow, so I hope that you guys all had an excellent uh, yard sailing adventure. And I hope you'll share it. Bye-bye.